Hi there, welcome into my channel. I'm just in here with a wee quick. Right, here we go. I'm in the process of making my second album here. And I was making it, I'm going to make it a kind of brown Christmas thing, right? But my brown card didn't turn up, so I did have brown card, but anyway, I've not got it anymore. But I had hundreds of these envelopes in this paper mania pack of cards. There's no many of them left. But anyway, as you can see, I've got a lot more envelopes than I have of the cards. And I just thought to myself, years and years ago, I used to see people making these things with these envelopes, you know, and they, they stuck them all like that, and then another one on the other end. Like that. And it was a kind of fold them up concertina type thing right and you would pull it out and that would be your album anyway i thought i could do my covers here i could do my pockets and that with these and i have so i'm stuck two envelopes together and i've got a pocket it's only a shallow pocket goes there there i've got this pocket there you flip it over and i've got the pockets in the top right like that and I've done one, two, three, four pages. So I thought I would just come on and show you how I've done them. Right? First off, you want to stick your envelope this, stick one of your envelopes down. And although these envelopes are going to be made just for me, it's good practice just to do it the way you would make for anybody, right? So don't make any difference. So I'm sticking it down with glue instead of flicking it and sticking it okay right open your thing up because I'm going to follow the way I've done it before then I want to take a smidge off and a smidge is a wee scientific measurement there yeah and I mean a wee smidge it's tiny it's maybe a mile or so that's the bits I've taken off of the other ones so get my ruler get my craft blade and I'm just going to add do everything on the side because I don't like doing it kind of straight up and down. Right, so you can see it's a smidge. Make sure you're sharp. Don't stick so much out. Right, and just weak it right down. And again, just to make sure. And I'm needing a new blade, this sounds it. Right, so now you've got an envelope that's open, but it's sealed because, see if you didn't seal it, you would have, you know, if you stuck that into that, right, when you opened it up, you would have a gaping hole or whatever here, and I didn't want that. You can have a gaping hole there if you want. But this is the way I've done it. I tried different ways and this is the way I've done it. So, right, you've got your one there with the gaping hole at the side. Now I'm going to slit along here. Okay, so I'm opening my knife right up. And don't push the foot round about it. Because if you start giving it all that, your blade, you're going to cut in and out of your card or your envelope, right? Get your knife in and wheak it. Hold it up and wheak it. It's just as if you're opening an envelope, right? And it was near as damn it go. I mean, I've got a wee bit there, but I'm not caring because that's going to stick in the hinge. But you didn't go way off. Right, so as I said, the bit that I just cut is going on my hinge side, right? And this bit up here, I'm going to stick this flat. So, oh, off you come, lad. Get your glue, get it on here. Okay, and I'm sticking it onto where I stuck my other flap in the inside. Right. Fold it up, line it up, give it a wee good press there. So, you've got that. Okay. Right. 
Now at this stage, I'm going to put a piece of, is it architrave? It's actually picture mounting tape. I use, okay, the brown stuff I use is picture mounting tape, but the black stuff that I use is actual book binding tape. So I'm just sticking it over. Get your the thing, give it a good burnish. Both sides. And that just strengthens your envelope hinge. Okay. Because it's on the hinge there. Right, so this is the side that I cut. Right. I'm going to bring my hand, my thing down. I'll shut that buddy just so it's going to confuse you. Here's my spine, here's my hinge. I'm going to put glue down here. Just watch you don't get it on the other side here. And I'm going to put glue on this side as well. Right. I'm taking the end that I cut. That's a hole that I cut. And I'm just going to plonk it over the top of the hinge. Okay, there's nothing hard about that, it's just over the top of my hinge. Press it down there, give it a wee second for a grip, flip your page over, you can lift that envelope if you want, and press it down there. Now that will stick, and it will stick good, but me being a double measure person, this is what I've been doing on the side, right? I've been getting my tape. Now, oh, can you see there? Yep, you can. And I've just been putting it on my cutting mat. I'm lining it up into the corner here. And I'm running it along to 14 centimetres. I'm getting my ruler and I'm slicing it off. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll... I'm slicing it off three lines before the 14 centimetres. Right, down here. And that's five centimetres, almost five centimetres. So I'm going to come to just below the two and a half and I'm going to slit it along as well. Because that tape there is two inches, which is five centimetres. Right, so I'm going to use a strip of this on each side just to reinforce the hinges. Okay, so I come down. Now, you don't want it to come up onto this bit of the hinge, right? But I don't mind if it's going to go over the wee space in the middle. I want it onto there. I want it onto the wee space. I'm lining it all the way up. Right, it's a beautiful day outside, it's quite sunny. Can you see that? I've covered the wee bit in the middle and I'm right up onto the bottom envelope. Get your bone folder and give it a good burnish down. Now see these bone folders, but do crafts. That bit on the end of it there is actually your quarter inch which is the width of your space in these spines. So it just fits perfect in there. Okay, a wee burnish. And that's reinforced that seam. So I'm going to shut that. I'm going to flip it over. You can see there there's one for the last time. So I'm going to do this side. Picking my tape off. And the good thing about sticking to the glass mat is that you're not really taking any of the sticky off it or anything. I'm going down there. That's a wee bit skew off, I think. Just want to kind of catch it a wee bit just to line it up. Right up there. Give it a wee light rub along. 
a good burnish down. Get this end in. Give it a good old crease. And there you go. Right, that's an envelope pocket. So you've got your pocket up here. Your pocket in the back. Your front and back sides. And your front and back sides. Now, if you didn't want to see that pocket, when you're mat and learn that, you could put your card right up like that. You know? And you wouldn't see that. I would probably put it right up to there. Give it a wee border run about. I, I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'll see when I come to decorating it, but I think I'm going to leave it like that. Right, I'll do another one, just in case you want to see it again. September, and it's that warm outside. My glue's going off funny at the ends. It is actually really warm here today. Well, I'm saying really warm. It's warm for us. It's about 22, something like that, for September. Considering we've already had our heating on, that's a good deal. Okay, stick the envelope down. Going to slice a wee smidge off. Now I just do that at the start, just to give it a good start. Near another, broke it off and get another blade out. That's us this time. Right. I'm sliding my blade as long as it will go, getting in here, starting it off. And it doesn't matter if it goes too awry because, as you've seen, I'm covering it over with tape, but that one's perfect. There you are. Right, glue on this. Do you know what? I'll do that side first this time. Glue on my side here. And glue on the side here. Stick my other envelope on first. Okay, stick my other envelope in the top. No, I put that to the side, did I know? Doesn't matter, I'm not caring. Put that in there like that. I'm putting my cut side over my hinge. Gonna fold it down that way. Give the glue a wee burnish on. You see, did you see the glue left there? Because I've no burnished it on. But that was the main reason I wanted to put tape on the top as well. Right, you can see it, it's no lifting when I've burnished it, but still in all, I want to put the tape on. So, I'm kind of lining it up here. You can see it. Putting it down, giving it a good burnish. And then again, with this one, lift that up so it doesn't get in the way. over that bit there. So come to there. Now 
Hey, give her a good wee burnish. Give her a rub down there. And there's my pockets. I'll put some of that tape across the top of that hinge there too, as well. But there you are, pockets. Pockets galore. And that was just because my brown card didn't turn up, so... The next thing is to either print off some papers or get some Christmas papers out that are maybe gingerbread related or um, vintage Christmas because I'm going to go for browns and reds in this album. <clears throat> so, there you are. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that folks. We'll see you all again the next time. Bye.